Hi, I'm Ben Russell-Smith, Founder and Managing Director here at Laser Lamps. Today I'm going to tell you about the utility product range. So starting with the Utility 25, so it's a 25 watt lamp. We sell a lot of these into the automotive sector, so passenger cars using it as rear-facing backup lights pickup trucks giving that extra illumination around the vehicle when they're working as well heavy goods vehicles will often use the utility 25 so some of the features that are unique to the utility 25 and the 25 max are the way that the bracket can move it can enable the lamp to be mounted very close to the surface that it's mounted to you can also mount the lamp upside down so it's a very versatile product Utility 45, it's a very tough, very rugged lamp. It's got a lot of experience in the market and many thousands of hours in sectors such as forestry, mining, construction, and heavy goods vehicles. So the product itself comes with a slimline bracket. It is also possible to buy the lamp with a wide bracket. It gives the customer a different mounting option depending on where they're installing it and the kind of application that they have. Utility 50 comes in a number of different variants and some of these variants are appealing more to different sectors than others. This is a product aimed primarily at the commercial vehicle sector, but as well we see opportunities in construction, forestry, mining. So for example, we have a work light only lamp, which means it only has a two core cable. And this lamp comes in both a uh, CISPA 25 class 3 version which means it is very good for an EMC performance but as well we do make the lamp in a CISPA 25 class 5 version which is basically the top level very quiet which might be useful in case of mining applications or areas where the customer might have a large number on a vehicle and they're wanting to ensure there's no risk of any interference Additional to the two-wire standard work light version, we also have a three-wire version which is featuring a tail light and then that has a very distinctive red illumination on the four corners making it very attractive for rear mounting on the back of trucks. We then have a four-wire version, a four-pin version which is a beacon version. The four-pin version is coming without the tail light so it has the two wires which are controlling the work light. It's then got an extra two wires which are specifically relating to the beacon. So that means a sync wire, so that if you've got more than one lamp mounted, then you can connect them up together and they'll be syncing. Uh, you can also use the sync wire to change the pattern. And then the fourth wire is the power for the beacon. That is a regulation 65 approved narrow field nighttime limits uh, beacon function. We then have a five core version, and this is then featuring all of the functions of the lamp. So we have the work light, we have the red tail light, and we have the beacon all in one product. So where a customer is mounting a number of different types of light to achieve these functions, they can get a real saving by moving to a single lamp that is incorporating all of these EC approved uh, functions. The Utility 80 HD, so launched in 2023, this product aimed to bring toughness and ruggedness to the utility range. So with this product, we've got an, a larger heatsink, which enables the lamp to cool effectively. That allows the customer to mount it in a hot environment, and we don't have a problem of the lamp entering thermal control because of the size of that heatsink. So in addition to the standard Utility 80 HD, we also have a version which has got variable adjustment. So the variable adjustment version comes with a four pin connector. If the third pin sees power to it, then it will decrease the intensity of the light coming out of the lamp. And when the fourth pin is seeing power, then it increases the intensity in the light. Uniquely, it is a continuously variable mode, so there aren't step changes. So the longer you hold your finger on the button, the more the output changes. We decrease from 80 watt to 16 watt, and that happens over just the space of a couple of seconds. 
So the mounting bracket on the utility lamps here is slightly different. So in the case of the Utility 25 and 25 Max, we use a stainless steel bracket, which is then pre-treated to enable black powder coating. This gives very high levels of corrosion resistance and long-term performance. On the Utility 45, we use a mild steel bracket, but with an E-coat, which is an electrophosphor coat before powder coating. So this also gives us very high levels of corrosion resistance. The Utility AT HD is using a high pressure die cast bracket. This gives it a more elegant appearance. And of course, all of our lamps are corrosion tested to 3000 hours. So they are suitable for marine use as well. So in terms of light output, it's going from products which have an output of 3,000 lumens, just over 3,000 lumens on the Utility 25. We then have 4,500 lumen output coming from the two 45 watt lamps. And then we've got 8,800 lumens coming from the Utility 80 HD. Beam pattern on all three of these Utility product ranges is identical. So actually we use the same optical surface throughout and actually this optical surface has been very carefully engineered to give maximum spread of illumination while avoiding having any hot spots in the range. So you'll find it's a completely homogenous beam pattern making for a, a safe working environment. Where space is at a premium, of course, you need to downsize slightly and go with the 45 watt lamp if space also doesn't allow for the Utility 45, we'd recommend the Utility 25 Max. But do have in mind that in the event that there's no airflow, the Utility 25 Max will enter thermal control after a relatively short amount of time. So the way thermal control works on all of these lamps is a very analog process. So what that means is the moment that the PCB hits a certain temperature, the microchip just gradually reduces the drive current through the LEDs and it stabilizes at whatever temperature the environment allows. For most applications, just the static conditions allow for the lamp to run at 100% without thermal control. All of our utility series lamps are minimum CISPA 25 class three. Utility 25 Max is class four and then the Utility 25 is actually a class five product. So that is the maximum level of EMC performance. Vibration, we also ensure that the Utility products are all vibration tested to a very severe standard. So we use BS60068. As with all of our work lights, these are certified IP69K. The 9K means that they are able to withstand high pressure jet wash at high temperature um, and that's done at an external test house. They are also IP68 which means that they are submersible to a meter and a half for more than 30 minutes. Color temperature, these lamps are operating at 5000 Kelvin which is the optimum for preventing fatigue while using outdoor fitted to machinery. Of course, it isn't just about the color temperature, it's also about the color rendering index. So these products use a LEDs with a high CRI, and what that means is any colors which are in the work area, the driver is able to pick those up and see very clearly because of the use of high quality LEDs. All of these products come with a lens guarantee service, so that means that in the event that the lens would crack, the customer can send them back to us and we'll happily replace the lens, but we've yet to see a fail come back from the market on these products. We've got lens covers on the Utility 80 HD, Utility 50 and the Utility 25. So the lens covers are available in black and also a yellow shade. So the yellow shade people are using if the level of illumination is quite challenging. So for example, maybe dusty or sandy environments, 
The lamps come with a five-year warranty for automotive applications. If you're mounting them in a more extreme environment like mining or forestry, then the lamps are coming with a two-year warranty. I hope this video gives you a good understanding of the Laser Utility Series. Please do check out our website for more information on the product. Otherwise, get in touch. We would love to hear from you either via email, phone call, or through our social media channels. Until next time, thanks very much.